Que pasa amigos, John's Motor Garage. So this is super dope. I came to look at this uh, Harley Sportster 72. And I walk up and I see right away the dude's got a CBR 1000 double R leader bike sitting in the garage. Super dope looking bike. And then he's got a Triumph, I want to say Street Triple or Speed Triple. And he's got it kind of stunted out. And we'll get to that in a second, but let's go ahead and do our test ride. So this is a 2013 Sportster 72. You got the candy metal flake red. Beautiful bike. It's an XL, XL 1200V, basically 1200. Old school looking Sportster. I only think they had these for a couple of years. And I have, I had one before, the flat black. And I think they're just a super dope looking motorcycle. Very reminiscent of the old school. I mean, that's why they called the 72. This one's basically stock aside from the exhaust. And you got your white walls, you've got the dope ape hangers. This one's got the white grips. I don't think they came stock with that. But just a super nice, clean, beautiful bike. Of course, just doing my doing my test ride real quick. I'll jump off here in a second, let you guys take a look at it. These have more of the forward controls than your mid controls. It comes standard with the mini apes. Yeah, I'm having a blast here on this bike, you guys. Let me jump off real quick, show you guys what we're looking at. Exhaust sounds really good. Bam, there you have. I love just the old school classic. This straight from the factory is just your classic cruiser, your classic sportster. Such a fun bike. But yeah, the old classic kind of paint scheme. I think it was the 72 year that had the smaller peanut tank. Look at that metal flake, that thing's awesome. One tiny blemish, that's it. Of course, belt drive, five speed, air cooled. What a sick looking bike, I'm gonna take a picture. Yeah, pictures don't really do this thing justice. Just do a quick walk around. Digging the white walls, digging the metal flake. Man, these things are sick. I've wanted one of these for a long time, long time. Anyway, let's get back to the get back to the test ride. So these come standard with your solo seat, your side mounted license plate. Like I said, forward controls. And again, right from the factory, you pick these things up. And that's one of the things. You know, I'm not partial to motos. I ride Harleys, Victories. Just about any bike with two wheels, I'll I'll jump on and have a fun time on it. But Harley, in my eyes, does the best job putting out consistently just really cool looking motorcycles. Everything from the Harley Road King Classic to the 48 to the Nightster to the Iron 883. They're consistently setting the trends when it comes to that. I don't think there's any, any debate there, even if you're not a Harley dude. This bike only has 2,759 miles, wicked little miles, and the dude is practically giving it away. And I told him outright that I'm buy and sell, and you know, I'll plan on selling it at some point, but this would not be a bad one to add to the collection just with how, how nice of a motorcycle it is and the low mileage and everything. There's a dude who hit me up, one of the subs, who has probably the sickest looking 72 that I've seen. That thing is just awesome looking. Anyway, I'll get back to that story. So I'm looking at this dude's bike and I'm talking to him and you can just tell the dude knows what he's talking about. And he said he used to be a you know, stunt rider, he's kind of retired. Come to find out the dude rides with Sea Bear Stunts and just some of the, some of like the top, the top dogs in the stunting game. If you don't know, Sea Bear's the dude out mobbing around on, um, on the road glide mobbing 12 o'clock super cool so with his permission he said i could film some of his bikes in his garage i'll take it dude <laughs> yeah this thing's awesome bro cool dog huh all right you guys john's moto garage so here we are 
I came to look at a bike, a Sportster 72. I don't know why you guys are giving it away so cheap, man, but, but I'll take it. Anyway, as I'm walking up, I see this super sick bike, another super sick bike. Sorry for the ruckus, obviously we got the little guys here. Sit tight for a second, sit tight for a second. All right, now that the kids aren't crying, do you mind giving us a walk down on the two bikes here? Uh, just... 2017 CBR 1000. Uh, that's been my go-to bike for a thousand meter bikes. Uh, I had an 05 when it first came out, and I had an 09. And then I haven't really had a daily ridden bike in a while, so I saw this one online, went there right now, and they had a black tag down for 10 grand. Jeez. So I could, yeah, I couldn't pass it the deal, so it ended up in my garage the same day, basically. Was it brand new still? Brand new. For 10 grand? For 10 grand. What the heck? I just... They were trying to put a 2018 kind of thing, more yeah. likely, so... So I just sold them a... 2012? No, 2016. 2016? Nice. Blacked out. Had like 8,000 miles. They paid me 7,700 bucks for it. Oh, shit. Like they, they called me about Termite it. right now? Yeah. That's a good deal for me. Yeah. For sure. I mean, they bought it off of me. I couldn't believe it. But this thing is sick. That's my, I got a lot to do. It's still stock. I want to do the yeah. detail on uh, Wednesday. Dude, that's a freaking, that's a steal right there. Hey, is this you right here? Yeah. <laughs> 99 hour one back in the days. Stoppies? That's 2005. Nice. And then you ride with uh, Sea Bear Stunts and all those dudes oh, are you yeah. used to? So Apex, like the original Vegas crew, I mean, well, they're all different now. But... I'm obviously a big wannabe as far as all this goes, just barely getting into it, but I have a blast. It's a lot of fun. Big shout out, thanks a bunch to Hadley for showing us his collection and giving me a smoking deal on this motorcycle. Shout out to his cousin, I guess, because she was uh, getting, getting rid of it. All right, you guys, we made it back in one piece. I'm not gonna unload the bike right now because I'm on kid duty. Gotta watch over those kids, but a huge shout out to Hadley and to your cousin for getting me a smoking deal on this motorcycle. And thanks a bunch for letting me check out your other bikes. I don't know how good it turned out, but basically he's got a CBR 1000, 2017, this thing looks sick. He said it, he got it at the local ride now for only 10,000 bucks, brand new. They were trying to get rid of the 2017 models. I can't believe you got it for that smoking of a deal because I paid or they paid me 77 cash for my 2016 with 8,000 miles. So and then the other was I believe a street triple that he had purchased stock and then basically was setting it up to stunt out. So two super cool bikes. Anyway, as you can see, checking out the clips, my kids were running crazy. Uh, both Hadley and his wife were super accommodating. Thanks a bunch for the uh, the deal and for letting me check out your bikes and letting us all enjoy checking out those super sick rides so that'll do it for this session john's moto garage stay tuned i'm gonna do some ride reviews on this sportster 72 walk around all that good stuff to come and we'll hit you up on the next one adios nos vemos